This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Nia, Chapter 21, The Spirit Stone Huntress. Alright, so in this mission we're going directly to the boss named Maria, getting ourselves prepared, Kaikai, Carnage, Lightning. Uh, even though she's like Nobunaga, she's immune to any magic, but hopefully the magic can also slow her down. Uh, as soon as the battle starts, sloth, weakness, and as usual, just dodge her attacks as best as possible, and then just punish her with a simple low stance combo, and then just dash back, uh, and then just repeat. Uh, so she would, uh, yeah, again, she is a fast character. She acts like Okatsu, uh, pretty much like a ninja. And then when she does that, she disappears, and if you hear or see uh, that magic symbol, just be ready to dodge. And uh, be careful when using your magic, uh, she can attack you during those times. Uh, then she's gonna summon her uh, magic, coat her sword with it, and uh, just be at a good space from her as possible so that she'll use her slash attack. And when she does that, just dash uh, right in front of that slash, then use uh, the uh, Guardian Talisman to summon Atlas Bear to pin her down, use Cross Slash, and Finishing Blow. And hopefully if you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Maria. Alright, so as usual, uh, go to your inventory, uh, check your weapons and armor along with charm and the weight and if you have any perceived points use them as much as possible all right and uh, now that we have uh, completed that mission and I did some editing right here because I actually uh, did some grinding before I actually leveled up uh, so before you go to the shrine and go to the blessing uh, go to Queen's Eye again, gain some more Emerita, uh, farming, and then go to the Shrine, go to Blessing, and then Inventory, and then we're going to level up, and we are going to increase, uh, Heart by 2 and Dexterity by 1. And the reason why Dexterity is because we are going to be using a couple of ninjutsus on the next mission, but before we do that, uh, we're gonna go to the dojo, and we are going to Way of the Ninja Novice. Um, the reason for that is to, in order to unlock uh, those certain ninjutsus in order to proceed into the next mission. All right, so I'm going. To, so this is how you uh, complete Way of the Ninja Novice. All right, so we're gonna pick up this item, which is the uh, Ninja Hairlock. Go to the inventory, use it, and uh, we're going to go to skill, and then go to ninjutsu, and it's telling us to unlock a sh shuriken shooter, and I'm supposed to go to the shrine, but I actually went to let you guys know where the enemies would spawn. Um, unfortunately, I'm actually at the wrong location, you'll see why. So, but anyway, we go to the shrine. And then we are going to uh, ready jutsu, and we are going to equip shuriken shooter and another ninjutsu item, and we're going to put them in the shortcut. And then once we exit, the mission will start, and the enemies are actually going to spawn on the other side where I was, but it's fine. It's pretty simple. Uh, just attack them four times using the wood sword uh, mid stance. That guy failed to attack me, so. Uh, I punished him and there you go you have completed way of the ninja novice that was pretty easy right all right and then now that we completed that one uh, we are gonna go uh, to the shrine and before we do it well actually before that go to the inventory uh, use the hairlock and then go to the shrine before we do anything we go to our uh, skill set and then go to ninjutsu and we are going to unlock three items uh, one is sneak attack one is catwalk and the other one is supa 
So catwalk is pretty much like your footsteps are going to be mute so that the enemies won't hear or sense you. And then supa is another way of saying invisibility. You'll be invisible to you, uh, certain enemies, um, but not bosses. Uh, but if any of the enemies spot you, the super won't work. Then we're going to go to Ready Jutsu and we are going to equip uh, Supa and Catwalk, uh, but unequip Shuriken. Then we're going to unequip Fire and Lightning and put in Earth Talisman. Uh, there's going to be a boss from the next mission that's weak against Earth. And then we're going to uh, remove Guardian Talisman and adding uh, Kekai and Carnage. And then um, I think I might do it on the next mission, but I'm just going to do it. I was just going to say it early on. Uh, go to your Guardian Spirit and then switch to the for your main spirit. Switch to the Centipede. Just leave your second spirit just for your first spirit to be Centipede. Uh, just for the next mission. And on the next video, like I mentioned, the next mission that we're going to is called uh, Siege of Osaka Winter Season. And uh, if you have taken a good look on my uh, inventory, see what equipment I have, hope this video has helped you out.